Good morning, Rob. So here we have the Infinity Streets Hierarchy Task Cards. What can you tell us about these? Yeah, so this is a relatively new material, Michelle. This is certainly one when I took my training, um, I didn't recognize it uh, as one that was like part of the, the canon. But clearly, when I visit lower elementary classrooms, I, you know, I see it more and more. Uh, it's basically a place value uh, work. And I think if you talk to most teachers, any teachers, they'll often say like that's the hardest thing for, for, for people, for children to really learn and master is, is that sense of place value. And of course we do that a lot in, in three to six classrooms, right. uh, probably more than any other pedagogy. We start with that place value yes. to higher places, goes to the, really to the thousands in yes. three to six or even yes. beyond that. Yes, yeah. so it's, it's something that has to be a uh, concept that has to be cemented well at that age so then they can move forward to the more abstract in the later years. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is, the work, the way that it's laid out here is uh, it, it envisions uh, as if this is a street and you've got your, your, your house of the simple family, your house of thousands, uh, house of millions and billions and, and, and trillions. And so each one of them is, is, is set like we've got our, our families there. And they're, they're, they're cut into different grooves there that allows the child to, to put different chains. So it uses the, uh, a, a common chain file, like the chain work that we have for, say, the checkerboard or for the decanomial work. It uses the same chains, and then the child puts them in each one to identify you know different numbers I think what uh, I like about this is it shows the difference between the simple units of thousands the type of the house is getting larger just like the numbers are getting yes. larger uh, and I think another thing that uh, is really appeals to the elementary child here is you know, Montessori talks about how one of the characteristics of this developmental age is they love extraordinary things. And I think that's why you know, we give children in, in three to six even these larger numbers. So they're looking at a thousand cubes you know, that they can really hold in their, in their hand. And so what this does is it takes the child to some extraordinary large large numbers. numbers so like what eight-year-old is not going to yes. be enthralled with you know doing going working into the into the billions uh, and so these are task cards and again like any task card uh, sometimes called command cards uh, you're looking for this is as your follow-up work so the, the teacher has already gone through the actual physical material uh, they've given a first period lesson, a second period lesson, a third period lesson. They've probably built, they've probably started with the, the simple units and then moved on to thousands and billions and trillions. So they're sort of maybe building it slowly. I, I, I don't see you doing this all in one, one presentation. I see this as right. being more of a built, uh, yes. a built one. And then as they, they come to it, now they're comfortable with it, you understand that they have a certain facility with it, they're working independently, you're giving the presentation and they're answering the questions even before you ask it, they, are, they already know where you're going. And so this allows them this follow-up work, like I want to work on Infinity Street, uh, and, you know, how, how can I work at now, this is, this is a shelf work. So the child, certainly after the presentation, you can say like this is available, uh, and like most of these task cards, they're in different sections, and so these different sections are going to follow in complexity. So the first cards are, are a little bit more are simpler, like represent the following number. So now you're taking that number, you're finding the, the eight chain, and they put the eight chain you know, right in that, in that groove. What I like about these task cards is it isolates the difficulty, of course, a strong Montessori uh, you know, component. Um, and it's also self-correcting self in that the child isn't having to show, there's no gatekeeper, yes. right? They can see, oh. A little I, bit more independent than what Montessori is already. Exactly, yes, yes. Um, they move on, once I've done these and I'm, I'm getting them right, uh, then I can move on to this one. This one sort of like ups it a little bit. Now, you know, write the number, so now, uh, you know, classic second period. Now I'm gonna give you the, right. the it, now you've got to tell me what it is. And so, for the child, and coming up with something like this, um, you know, certainly there's a control of error here because we're still using the hierarchical colors on the back of, of the answer, uh, and they're still representing a zero, 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 and so they're, they're, they're able to check their work in a way that makes sense. And then from then on, uh, we're going to say, like, 
how many, how many different place values are going to be available here. So now we're asking the child to really start to look a little bit more critically. Okay, it has three digits. That's only going to be the simple family. Oh, now it has four or five. Now I'm into the, th into the thousands. Uh, and then we get a little bit closer down this end, and now you're looking at like, all right, can you identify this digit? What digit is that? Now you're really getting into, into uh, you know, place value. Yeah. And then I think the, the last one there is now you're getting into those extraordinary large numbers. But for me, uh, now the child is, you're asking the child to do it frontwards and backwards. You're asking them to say, like, show me this number and then do it. And then you're also saying, here's this number, what is it? Mm -hmm. uh, and letting the child to develop. I think a child working through these task cards by the time they've done all of them uh, successfully, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, they learn the hierarchy, but boy, this is going to help them when they're doing checkerboard. It's yes. going to help them when they're doing the large B frames. So I think that has a lot of other other uh, uh, benefits as well. Yes, I agree.